Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing a very, very quick review of the new, it's not new, but um, it's the Hourglass Immaculate Foundation. This came out quite a while ago, but I've been seeing new ads for it, so I think Hourglass has either uh, reformulated it or they're remarketing it. I'm not entirely sure which is the case, but it's definitely being promoted again. Uh, so I think that's the case. It's either, again, been either reformulated or they're just re, like, re-getting the hype about it out, re-getting the hype, you know what I mean. Um, so they sent me two shades, and this is a PR sample, so this was, I'm not being paid to do this video or anything like that, they sent it to me to try to do a review on and let me know their, let them know my thoughts on the product. They did not say I have to say it's, oh, it does this, this, or this. If I don't like the product, I can definitely say that. Um, and yeah, so I just wanted to give you my very quick rundown and thoughts on it. I will be doing a separate demo video just so that this one isn't too long. Um, but I just wanted to give my initial thoughts on it. I am wearing the foundation today, and it obviously looks amazing. It's very beautiful. Uh, but I did mix in a few drops, like two drops of the Cover Effects Custom Enhanced Drops, and these are extremely illuminating and dewy, and that is why my skin looks very illuminated and glowing. Uh, this is a very, very matte foundation on its own. It's very, um, yeah, it's mattified. It says it's mattifying liquid powder foundation, so it's going to have a powder finish once it has dried down and soaked into the skin. And this is going to be more ideal for someone who has extremely oily skin, or if you're doing something for a photo shoot or something like that. Um, the I have to do a very, very quick disclaimer, and this is coming from my esthetician background. I am a certified esthetician, so this is not something that I just read off the internet or whatnot. This is something that I do in my practice with my clients and that I went to school for. Um, if you have oil, oily skin and you suffer from breakouts and you think that oil is the issue, do not use mattifying primers with a mattifying, fi mattifying foundation and then a mattifying powder on top of that. A lot of the time, and I'd say 80% of the time, Clients that come to me or people that ask me about their oily skin, they do not have oily skin. Most of the time you have dehydrated skin, and that means it is lacking water. And to compensate, your skin is producing more oil to rehydrate itself. If you are applying extremely mattifying powders, primers, everything like that, your skin's just going to continue to be even more oily because you're drying it out so much. So this foundation is definitely not one I recommend for daily use, even though it has amazing skincare ingredients. I would reserve this for one to two times a week or special occasions. And yeah, and that goes for any mattifying foundation, even like excluding this one. I mean, and that goes for any mattifying foundation, this one included. You guys don't want to be using them every day. I know that seems counterintuitive, but if you have very oily skin, you want the base of your makeup to be extremely hydrating. You want very hydrating primers, very hydrating moisturizers, and then just use blotting powders and blotting papers throughout the day sparingly. Do not dry out your skin. That is just going to make you produce more oil. So that's my little disclaimer before I get into this product. Um, don't use this every day. Even though it is meant for oily skin, again, oily skin, don't use mattifying products every day, you guys. Do very hydrating bases and then matte yourself throughout the day. That will help heal your skin, that will let your skin breathe, and that will help you get rid of the acneic problems that you're experiencing or just the excess oiliness that you're experiencing. So on to the actual foundation. Hourglass sent me two shades, one in the color sand and one in the shade tan, because they reached out to me and asked me what shade I am and I was not really sure, so they sent me two so that I could find the right one or mix and match them. In addition to the two foundations that you get in the PR sample box, I saw a couple of other YouTubers get this same package. Again, that's why I said I think they're either reformulating or remarketing it, because I saw a lot of other people get this. My friend Jonathan included, I'll link his video down below. Um, and then the deluxe sample size of the Mineral Veil Primer. Mineral Veil Primer. Mineral Veil... Oh my god. Mineral Veil Primer. <laughs> this is one of their best-selling worldwide primers, and it is very nice that you get a deluxe sample in it. This I actually really do like. Um, it's quite drying also, but I still really like the way it makes my makeup look, so I reserve this for special occasions.
Primer is a very like milky white liquid substance. It goes on very smoothly. It almost has a silicone feel to it, but not quite. It's not as like slick and it's not gonna like ball up on you, but it soaks into the skin very quickly. I do find it again to be, it's, I find it to be quite drying, but I find that it makes your makeup go on really smooth. And yeah. So the two shades that I got were tan, which is this one right here. This is the shade Tan, right here, looks like this. It's a very nice finish, very light coverage, it's not full coverage at all, but um, it's very pretty. And then this is the shade Sand. I'm wearing the shade Sand today, and it's very nice. I think that it makes my skin look very even, it was a very good color match. But holy God, my skin feels so dry, you guys. I I really don't like this foundation, and I'm really sorry, Hourglass. I, I just don't like it. Um, if you guys have watched my videos, you know I own the Ambient Lighting Powder, the Ambient Lighting Palette, the Ambient Lighting Bronzer, the Ambient Lighting Blush. I have the... Um, the eyeshadow palette. I have the modernist palette. I have so many hourglass products and I am such a huge fan of the brand, but this foundation is just, it's immaculate. I mean, your skin looks so good when you wear it, but I cannot recommend this as a daily foundation. It is just so drying. Um, I, I just really, really don't like the way it makes my skin feel. The way it looks is awesome. Um, and the only reason my skin looks hydrated right now is again because of the custom cover effects drops. This foundation makes you matte, like matte, matte, matte. And again, if that's the look you're going for, totally this is the best foundation that I've ever used to mattify the skin um, for special occasions when you need to look matte. If you guys have oily skin, please don't be using this foundation every single day. All you're going to be doing is making your skin more oily. You're going to be making your skin very nourished because this has amazing ingredients in it, but you're not going to be very hydrated. Um, it's oil-free, so there's not really any natural emollients helping to nourish your skin in here. Uh, so that's just my take on this foundation. If you are a huge fan of it and you've used it every day and you love it, I mean, that's awesome for you, but from a medical aesthetician's standpoint, I cannot recommend something that is drying to um, be used every single day, just as you guys should not be exfoliating every day. You should be exfoliating one to three times a week and then nourishing your skin every other day of the week. So that is my take on this foundation. I give it a, I guess, a 10 out of 10 for performance because I think it is awesome performing. It doesn't have a scent. It goes on very smooth. You don't really need to set it with a powder because it dries down to powder. But for daily use, I really can't even recommend it at all. It's just not a good everyday foundation. And yeah, so thank you Hourglass so much for sending me these. I will definitely be holding on to them for when I need my skin to be perfectly matte and smooth or for clients. And Thank you. So I will see you guys at my next one. If there's any other products you guys want me to review, leave me a note in the comment bar down below, and I'll catch you in my next one. And until then, bye. -ya.